Good afternoon, distinguished colleagues and guests. It's uh, the 3rd of February, 2021. Uh, That's 3 p.m. Moscow time, and we're beginning the panel session for the defense of the thesis by Anastasia Danilova. The thesis is submitted for the academic degree of the candidate of pedagogical sciences. The specialization is 13001, theory of education. Uh, and history of teaching and education. The topic of the thesis is popularization of education in teenagers' leisure activities. Under the order issued by St. Petersburg State University, uh, uh, as of November 12, 2020, I, Ilyushin Leonid, Doctor of Pedagogical Sciences, Associate Professor of the Institute of Pedagogy of St. Petersburg State University, have been appointed the chairperson of this dissertation board, and the order also approved the candidacies of the members of our board, and let me introduce them. Tatiana Galaktionova, Doctor of Pedagogical Sciences, Professor of the Institute of Pedagogy of St. Petersburg State University. Leonid Maskovkin. A Doctor of Pedagogical Sciences, Professor of the Department of Russian as a Foreign Language and Teaching Methods, St. Petersburg State University. Alexei Kamensky, a Doctor of Pedagogical Sciences, Professor of the Department of Management of the Leningrad Regional Institute of Education Development, the Director of Lyceum Number 590 of St. Petersburg. Irina Frischmann, Doctor of Pedagogical Sciences, Senior Researcher at the Institute for Childhood, Family and Education Studies of the Russian Academy of Education. And um, the, we have one member who is of the board who is working remotely, Evgeny Arshansky, Doctor of Pedagogical Sciences, Vice Director for Research of the Vitebsk uh, Masharev State University in Belarus. Evgeny, do you see us and hear us? Yes, yes, I do. Okay, thank you very much. We also see you and hear you. And we also have our candidate for the degree, Anastasia Danilova. And the thesis supervisor, Yelena Kazakova, Doctor of Pedagogical Sciences, Professor of the Department of Pedagogy of St. Petersburg State University. Dear colleagues, uh, working remotely. In order to improve the quality of our connection, kindly turn off your microphones, but don't forget to turn them on when I give you the floor. I would also like to inform you that uh, the panel session of the dissertation board is being recorded and broadcast on the St. Petersburg State University website, and it, it is also interpreted into English. Currently, we have an email address posted on the page with live broadcast of the board session, and all listeners can submit their questions to Ms. Danilova online. The questions regarding the thesis or scientific discussion. These questions will be forwarded to me by our technical service, and I will read them out during the discussion. And I would like to emphasize that the questions must be related to the presentation and the content of the thesis. And do not forget to give your name and position if you submit a question. Uh, questions that have nothing to do with a scientific discussion or dissertation um, or the text will not be voiced. Under the order, on the procedure of uh, granting academic degrees at St. Petersburg State University approved by Local Normative Act of St. Petersburg State University. The session of the dissertation board is valid, providing two-thirds of the appointed board members are present. And the total number is not to be fewer than four people. Our dissertation board consists of six people. Everyone is with us today, including one member of the board that is working remotely. We have a multimedia connection with all the members of the board, as well as with our candidates for the degree. Therefore, we have a quorum. Distinguished colleagues, and now I address the members of the board mostly. You got uh, our agenda in advance. Therefore, allow me not to read it uh, fully, 
And if there are no questions on uh, the order that is established, um, if you agree with my offer, I will also ask uh, Evgeny. Yes, I agree as well. Okay. Now we won't read out the entire agenda that we have. So allow me to uh, start with the first item of our agenda. And traditionally, I will turn all, ask you to turn off the sound of your mobile phones. And uh, the member of the board who is working remotely, please uh, don't turn off your mobile phone in case we have any technical failure so that we could uh, establish the con uh, re establish the contact at once. So I start. And this is by Anastasia Danilova for the academic degree of the candidate of pedagogical sciences. The specialization is uh, 13001, theory of education. Uh, history of um, teaching and education is titled Popularization of Education in Teenage Leisure Activities. The thesis was approved for the defense by the order of the Academic Secretary of St. Petersburg State University, uh, issued November 10th, 2020, number 10, 319 slash 1. So, Anastasia. Uh, has prepared her dissertation at St. Petersburg State University. And Yelena Kazakova, Doctor of Pedagogical Sciences, Professor of the Department of Pedagogy of St. Petersburg State University, is the thesis supervisor. The list of three publications describe the research findings. They include three papers published in peer-reviewed journals recommended by the Ministry of Education and Science. And there are no papers published uh, in publications indexed in Web of Science and Scopus. Both these three publications that she has, they're quite enough. The candidate has submitted the full set of documents to the academic secretary. And uh, the above mentioned documents comply with, the re with item 12 of section 3 on the order of granting academic degrees at St. Petersburg State University and all the documents, as far as I am informed, comply with the requirements and they are found in the certification file. And the curator of the defense, member of the department of the dissertation board support has them. And before I give the floor or to our candidate for the degree, I would like to know if uh, the members of the board have any general questions to the candidate for the degree. Is there a need to um, read out the entire list of documents submitted by the candidate for the degree? So all the documents were already uh, downloaded to the website. So there are no questions. OK. Now let's uh, shift to the major part of our session, the report on the thesis. So, Anastasia, you, uh, you have the floor. Distinguished colleagues, distinguished chairman, distinguished members of the board, uh, today I'm going to uh, deliver a review of my thesis uh, titled uh, Popularization of Education in Leisure Activities. And before I switch to the choice of the topic, I would like to dwell upon the range of problems that are described in the research works in the recent years. For example, the absence of uh, some happiness and joy uh, from the educational pro um, process among adolescents, uh, fatigue, low level of loyalty, and other markers that demonstrate that education is not that popular. And uh, these problems indicate that there's a need to popularize education or uh, quoting uh, Vitaly Ginsburg, um, we need to form uh, this uh, fashion for intelligence. And he offered to develop this problem uh, using special lessons. Uh, the most promising from the point of view of popularization is uh, this leisure activity uh, sphere for contemporary school children. And one of the recent trends is the development of uh, uh, entertainment education services. 
So the nature is different from reading clubs, uh, interactive museums, uh, lecture courses, and so on. And these programs are based on edutainment. Uh, that have educational potential. And as far as we understand, this interest to education later on can deepen and be transferred to other educational formats. Maybe uh, the participation in game quests dedicated to biology will um, lead us to uh, joining the Young Naturalist Club. And the edutainment sector and intellectual leisure activities is not that well studied and uh, we don't see the description of methodologies of programs with successful experience and this does not give us an opportunity to scale up and uh, the experience uh, of studying this phenomenon of edutainment on one hand and uh, many years of participation in different educational programs on the other allowed us to set the following hypothesis. Educational um, and leisure activity can have a positive impact on the attitude of a school child to education and make education more uh, appealing to the student. Promote uh, the number of educational events in leisure time, motivate uh, people to participate and also uh, promote uh, independence and the creation of communities of young people. Uh, involved in the sector and also form positive attitude to education. And based on this hypothesis, we formulated uh, the goal, the object, subject, and problems. So allow me to give you the key results of the study and give the provisions brought for the defense. In the process of studying and analysis of the scientific works, we managed to define the key definitions for the study and also note uh, the changes uh, in the representation of some other phenomena. Leisure activity is functional, its functionality, the activity of the child and the adolescent, uh, him or herself. Uh, teachers and psych uh, psychologists emphasize that that is a key period in the development of personality. And at, uh, a leisure activity that has not just recreative function but also influences socialization, identification, and value uh, development uh, are of particular importance. Uh, the results of theoretical analysis demonstrate that in some conditions, some uh, uh, leisure practices can have a positive impact on the attitude of the adolescent to education. So it has the potential needed to resolve the problems of uh, education popularization, regardless of the fact that quite recently this term popularization of education is mentioned among local researchers, it did not have a complete interpretation. Therefore, we decided to search for it. And we managed to formulate two definitions that uh, give us the essence of popularization of education as a process and as a result. As a process, education popularization includes the activities aimed at the involvement of an individual uh, to educational process, um, and also the development of fashion on education, the rise of appeal of some or other educational forms, and also the dissemination of information on educational abilities. Um, and as for the result of popularization of education, it has a range of effects that are listed on the slide. And I would like to add that in order to assess the results of popularization, we can use the instruments aimed at qualitative and quantitative studies connected with the dynamics of cognitive interest, motivation, participation in educational processes, including self-education, and also categories connected with uh, this notion of fashion as social institute. And the results of the problematic analysis stage allowed us to say that uh, the intellectual leisure activity can have the major potential because it is connected with cognitive process, thinking, and acquisition of new knowledge. The proof of uh, um, the proof for that uh, has several stages. At the start of the uh, study, we did not manage to find uh, the examples of pedagogical works that carry out empirical study of the programs of uh, intellectual leisure activity or provide the mapping for uh, such a uh, sphere because they are quite theoretical. And we haven't seen the description of criteria that can be used. Uh, therefore, we face the need to specify the definition analyzing the examples of most popular programs for intellectual le leisure activities in St. Petersburg. Using a group of a set of instruments, we've chosen 32 St. Petersburg venues um, and in order to describe the key characteristics of the program, we use the method of content analysis 
and uh, the internet resources, publications in mass media, observation data, and also uh, our talks with the curators and heads of the projects. And based on this data, we presumed that the essence of joy from intellectual leisure activity is the cognition process and involvement. In order to check up and to define other characteristics of intellectual leisure activity that in involves uh, the adolescents, we use the experience of school children that actively participate in such programs. And during the polling process, we managed to find several characteristics of the programs that appeal, that involve our um, Respondents. First of all, joy uh, from uh, learning something new, the uh, freedom and opportunity to choose communication, and also thinking that this program will be useful, and also the level of expertise of the organizers and instructors. Although uh, educational and creative function are quite important, and communication is no less important here, and interviews allowed us to see this gradual development of interest to intellectual leisure activity, and adolescents who are used to be passive viewers um, developed interest to the scientific fields and turned into popularizers and researchers. And using the empirical study, we managed to specify the uh, working definition of uh, this uh, term intellectual leisure activity and describe a number of characteristics and provide a working character um, classification. We used our interviews to confirm that the participation in such programs uh, promote the emergence and the development of interest to some other um, disciplines and also to arise in loyalty to the school and the perception of education as a fashionable activity and formats that provide for intensive involvement of participants of particular interest like holiday programs and summer schools because uh, the participation gives not just joy but has a major impact on their attitude to education. Uh, the idea on high um, popularization potential of holiday programs uh, was the reason why we addressed the experience of Nanograd summer school. This summer school is included in the um, annual cycle of Rus Nano School League. And the study allowed us to define a range of characteristics that demonstrate the potential uh, of uh, this um, project as an environment to, uh, that helps us to popularize education. First of all, they choose motivated school children and involve those uh, who share the values of education. And this atmosphere is supported by a set of pedagogical instruments, uh, the environment and the organization of a range of events, for example, meeting opinion leaders and some uh, leisure time events. And education becomes a value because it is directly connected with active and interesting life. In order to support the ability of Nanograd to popularize education, we turned to study the experience of uh, the participants of the program and used polling. Polling uh, took place two times one of the, uh, during one of the peak points and nine months after the participation. And the comparative analysis of the results of two polling stages allowed us to detect the changes in educational behavior of respondents. Some of them are given on the slide. For example, we've seen a rise of uh, educational events in the leisure time. Uh, we see a growth of um, attractiveness of education, and there are more respondents uh, that associate education with joy. And we see a rise of the number of respondents that, respondents that have an experience of, of organizing extracurricular activities. And certainly we don't exclude this uh, opportunity of other factors, and we um, uh, still think that these mass changes in behavior uh, of uh, adolescents that live in different regions support the ability of Nanograd to perform this popularization function. We presume that the programs organized uh, like Nanograd will be able to popularize education themselves. And in order to check, we've designed three programs, Nanograd Weekend, and they were developed using the recommendations of the study. They were aimed at different time period and different age. And the testing results allow us to say that they're quite promising from the point of view of popularization. The testing of the first program, uh, the schedule for the day after tomorrow, allowed us to um, make sure that the school children are interested in such programs. And we've seen the opportunity to disseminate information on such educational projects. Uh, participation was quite sporadic, but for some school children, it became uh, an impetus to join in uh, the school league programs. The second problem, uh, program, uh, the creativity 
Creative Life in the Epoch of Nanotechnologies was tested uh, in the Academy of Talents. And the majority of school children initially were interested in one of the thematical components. But during the process, they developed interest to some other spheres that were not of interest before. And for two adolescents, the content of the program changed the reputation of the field because they previously thought that it is quite complicated. And uh, two months after the end of the program, one third of participants continued to uh, study. And above all, the experience in uh, this experience influenced the interest to other programs of intellectual leisure activity. And this interest spread to other types of education as well. For example, after the uh, program ended, several adolescents uh, joined online courses that they learned about um, during the participation in undergrad weekend. Based on the combination of results, we presume that the popularization of education among adolescents that participate in intellectual leisure activities can be uh, seen as a movement from uh, uh, from entertainment to education. And the driver is to search for positive emotions during self-fulfillment process and a mechanism to satisfy the need is intersubject uh, interaction of uh, adolescents that participate and adults that organize such programs. Initial motive was uh, to get joy to enjoy something, but interact, uh, during this interaction with enthusiastic organizers, um, taking into account the fact that adolescents are taken as uh, um, equal participants, adolescents be, uh, develop more interest to such programs. And here we see the combination of uh, several components, environment, team, reflection, and others. And adult subjects not just share knowledge, but they uh, translate certain behavioral models and use different uh, tools to involve uh, the students. And uh, using this intellectual leisure activity, adolescents not just enjoy themselves, uh, but master such behavioral models as well. They try um, uh, to implement their uh, talents, to fulfill their talents in this field. And during the process, we see the shift of initial motive in um, entertainment um, that is replaced by cognition process. And children. Um, and we see that there is a split between these initial two ideas. And summing up, we can say that the goal set uh, was achieved and uh, theoretical materials, um, empirical data and the positive testing dynamics demonstrate that leisure activity organized uh, as uh, intellectual leisure activity can popularize education, making it more appealing to adolescents. And this proves our hypothesis. The data that we received give us an opportunity to outline a range of other studying fields that are defined on this slide. Some fields were uh, considered in the thesis and some were defined in order to demonstrate the uh, fact that this topic is quite promising. Dear members of the board, dear chairman, that's it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Anastasia, for sticking to the time limit. Distinguished colleagues. Um, now we have an opportunity to ask questions on the report that gave us the main provisions of the study. If there are any questions um, among the members of the board before the reviews, so you can ask those questions if there are any. And I'll give our candidate for the degree a chance to answer. As I don't see any questions and I have nothing on my screen. We believe that we've, uh, uh, we don't have any questions right now. Certainly we will uh, listen to the questions that we have in our reviews. Okay. As for our um, agenda, now it's time to say uh, a few words about the external uh, reviews that we got. You know that uh, we had several reviews from um, other people that are not members of our board, and this study by Ms. Danilova received four external reviews. 
uh, and they are published on uh, our website and they have no uh, remarks. All the reviews are quite positive and I will remind you um, who submitted those reviews. So let's go step by step. The review of Dmitry Malkov, a co-founder of Association on Communications in Education and Science. The review emphasizes the relevance of the study and its importance for the practical sector uh, that Dmitry is working in. And above all, he uh, states that it demonstrates the interdependence of uh, entertaining leisure activities uh, of students that provide for empirical support of new initiatives in such intellectual uh, leisure activity. And also a review uh, from uh, Anton Alexiev, uh, Director General of um, Autonomous um, Institution School League. Anton also emphasizes the high practical value of the work uh, submitted for the defense and here reminds us that the author proves uh, this provision that the programs uh, that are based on nanograd example that have certain characteristics uh, that give us the popularization potential will be able to perform this popularization function themselves. So that is the idea that was mentioned in the report and an external export expert emphasized it as well. Yet another example from Ingrid Peldes, the PhD in pedagogy, the director of the State Budget Educational Institution, the Academy of Talents, uh, St. Petersburg. And Ingrid uh, also agrees with, uh, with the theoretical importance of the study and with uh, the supply um, application importance, emphasizing that there's a lot of interest in uh, other practical developments of uh, the author and also the recommendations on the design of educational programs that are aimed at education popularization. And she emphasizes that a broad range of institutions including the Academy of Talents, uh, carries out such developments. And they see that these developments of our author are quite relevant. And the review from um, Grigory Tarasevich, editor-in-chief of the Schrodinger Cat uh, Journal, uh, and also the member of Commission on the Popularization of uh, Science in, under the Presidium of the Russian Academy of Education. The review of um, this review is quite structured. Um, it dwells upon all the parameters of our thesis, and uh, the author emphasizes uh, the relevance of the study, the importance of it, and also the fact that that is an interdisciplinary study. So the review is quite a positive one as the others, and it has no questions. So. Additional experts, thank you very much for the reviews that you submitted, for your interest in the work. Distinguished colleagues, distinguished members of the board, now we switch to the talks of the members of the board. And I would like to inform you that as all of your uh, reviews were already published on St. Petersburg State University website, I offered to read out just the main position, uh, some key advantages of the study, and, and also ask the questions and give the remarks. Uh, uh, do you agree with me? OK. And in, in order to add up some academic drama, we offer our candidate for the degree to answer each of the reviews uh, step by step. Okay. Now we um, give the floor to uh, Tatiana Galaktionova for her review. Thank you very much, Leonid. 
the distinguished colleagues. I don't question the relevance of this study because there are a lot of trends described by the author. The author gives us uh, the statistics for the recent eight years and she gives us the hypothesis that educational leisure activity is able to have a positive impact on the attitude to education among adolescents. And I would like to dwell upon the level of substantiation of the scientific provisions, conclusions, and recommendations given in the thesis. As for scientific provisions, uh, the author defends this notion of intellectual uh, leisure activity, the integrated character of popularization of education, and the fact of relatively stable positive impact of intellectual leisure activity on the attitude of uh, the adolescent and the popularization of education model among adolescents. Uh, the proposed scientific provisions are supported uh, by arguments and uh, we either see the references to the works of experts or they are based on uh, independent studies and the level of their substantiation is quite high. Uh, based on the theoretical analysis, the author makes a conclusion on uh, the expediency of the systemic approach to leisure time activity, on the specificity of leisure activities among adolescents, on the need to uh, develop a, a procedural um, part in this popularization of education, on uh, the eligibility of using quantitative and qualitative measure, um, methods, and on the ability of leisure activity to influence the life of adolescents. The next group of conclusions are connected with the proof of ability of uh, educational leisure activity to influence the educational behavior of the students. The study was carried out in a situation where there were no similar pedagogical works that would have an empirical study of the intellectual leisure time programs or would provide examples of the mapping of, of this sphere in some other region. So uh, demonstrating this fact that the increase in intellectual leisure activity can be called a mass process, the author makes a conclusion on the level of, uh, of um, awareness of children with such leisure activity and we believe that this classification that the author provides is quite valid, and here are four forms of such programs given. The author does not insist on the exclusive role of intellectual leisure activity as the only factor, but she substantiates her conclusion on the ability of such entertainment programs to influence the already developed uh, attitude to education. A third group of conclusions is made on the design um, of the study. Talking about the novelty of this study, I would like to uh, say that the major components of the scientific novelty, as far as I see, are the description of this phenomenon of popularization of education and uh, the definition of the term and characteristic uh, and the characteristics of uh, this phenomenon and also the classification of the programs of intellectual leisure activity and the uh, expansion of potential of such leisure activities. And uh, there is no doubt that uh, the theoretical and practical value of this work is quite high. And in particular, this thesis makes a contribution to the theory of pedagogy overall and entertainment pedagogy in particular. And it has the theoretical prerequisites for further studies of the pro problems, like popularization of education and the leisure activities. And as for practical importance, it is not in, uh, just in the preparation of recommendations on the design of such programs, but also the author gives us uh, the description of these programs that can be used in the organization of some extracurricular activities. And we should emphasize that the uh, map of methods can be applied when we create such maps for other regions and cities. And it seems to me that uh, this map developed, uh, this developed regional map of most popular events uh, for adolescents in St. Petersburg 
is a really valuable um, uh, development. And uh, there are certain um, ideas that could be taken into account uh, when the author continues working on the topic first. In paragraph 1.3, popularization of education, the structure and the content of this notion, uh, you mentioned that the comprehensive resu uh, result of popularization of science is uh, the development of scientific literacy in among people who take part in this popularization process and also the rise of attractiveness of scientific knowledge and activity as an instrument to implement this recreational function. So I would like you to specify uh, this uh, notion of um, literacy because it can be interpreted differently. Second, you don't exclude the fact that this hipster education and fascination um, with science uh, due to fashion uh, has certain risks, but you don't specify the risks. So please could you dwell upon that as well. Third point. You offer the popularization model among adolescents that participate in intellectual programs. The question is, can we see it as a universal one and use it in order to popularize other values, for example, healthy lifestyle? And last point, getting acquainted with the experience of active participants um, of such programs allowed to uh, describe certain characteristics of the programs that are most uh, um, attractive and that those 12 respondents enjoyed most. And it's obvious that each of your respondent is an interesting personality. And this group, I believe, can be differentiated by a number of uh, indications that would allow us to define some typical groups and compare these groups between themselves and add up to uh, these categories to the database. And the above mentioned um, comments do not compromise the high uh, estimate of this work. And this research is qu uh, creates a very positive impression. It, it can be characterized as a detailed work uh, that is supported by um, uh, that is supported by a lot of uh, works. And um, we can make the following conclusion: the thesis by Anastasia Danilova. Uh, titled Popularization of Education in Teenage Leisure Activities complies uh, with the requirements of uh, the order as of September the 1st, 2016, on the procedure of granting academic degrees at St. Petersburg State University. And uh, Ms. Danilova deserves the academic degree of the candidate of uh, pedagogical sciences and specialization uh, 13001 theory of education, history of teaching and education, and Article 11 of the above mentioned order is not violated. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Tatiana. Anastasia, please. You learned this review and uh, you read this review in advance and you can answer right now. Thank you very much, Tatiana, for such an attentive attitude to my work and for the questions that were quite interesting and my vision is as follows, as for scientific literacy. Thank you very much for this question. This notion of scientific literacy and the thesaurus of sociologists and um, teachers and economists is now characterized by a wide variety of interpretations and it should be specified. As in our work, we mentioned this scientific literacy in the context of popularization of science and education. We are based on the definition that has more supporters among researchers. Uh, scientific literacy is the knowledge and understanding of the basic scientific concepts and principles that allow uh, a person not just to master new knowledge and um, monitor this uh, development of public discussions, but also uh, it is the ability to use this knowledge to achieve personal, professional, and public goals. So that is not just knowledge of disciplines, but rather the understanding of how science actually works. And I give these key elements in the thesis. And thank you very much. I believe I should have specified this definition. And as for the question on the risks uh, of uh, the so-called hipster education, this 
uh, word combination hipster education was constructed using hipster science uh, term. And uh, this is a term used by sociologists in order to describe the situation in which science into, turns into a show. And the importance of scientific achievements is assessed um, by their spectacular character and uh, sensation character. So um, sociologists describe such situation when this passion for science is expressed just in some external um, things like um, clothes. And uh, certainly there are certain risks for education. We did not um, develop detailed forecasts about the risks, but one of them is, I believe, oversimplification of science. And um, scientific battles are a vivid example here. They are educational events, but sometimes they don't have this educational value because the educational content is pushed out by jokes, by the spectacular elements and oversimplification or even distortion of uh, scientific knowledge. So that is um, the idea that we have, and certainly we should have a more detailed study uh, that would allow us to prove all this idea. Now a question on uh, the universal character of this model of uh, education popularization. That's an important question because it allows us to consider the processes from a different angle. As we didn't have this goal to create a universal popularization model, we can answer this question based on our own ideas and knowledge of pedagogical regularities and empirical experience. One of the values um, of uh, the Nanograd School is healthy. It is healthy lifestyle, and there are a lot of sport events, daily sport events, and the game model. And the organization of sport life in Nanograd happens taking into account the principles. Uh, of other spheres and the participants also have this opportunity to choose. They have enthusiastic instructors and companies. And we did not carry out specific observations, but within several programs we have managed to note that when this organization part is also supported by the curator that uh, supports healthy lifestyle, we see uh, the rise of participants of uh, sport events. And being based on these ideas, we can presume that this model uh, can be developed and then used uh, to popularize other values, but we should check certainly this um, idea. And this comment on the opportunity to differentiate the respondents, uh, responders, uh, the respondents. Uh, certainly, we had a um, rather small sampling, and if we will um, increase the number of respond, uh, respondents, we will create the categories, and uh, I would like to thank you for this um, idea, and I'll be happy to specify the answers. Tatiana, are you satisfied with the answers? Okay. Yes. I like this optimistic tone that uh, our um, candidate for the degree is talking about future studies. That's always nice. And we continue. And now I give the floor to Evgeny Arshansky, uh, Vice Director for Research Activities of the Vedipsk Masharov University from Belarus. So please. Our distinguished colleagues, do you hear me well? Yes, we do, as well as others. In the review that I submitted for the thesis, uh, I note that uh, the digitalization of the world and integration of different online formats and the transformation of the labor market uh, requires not just thinking, but also um, some actions that would allow us to act in advance. And from this point of view, this work dedicated to the intellectual leisure activity and the popularization of education is quite relevant. And I would like to n mention at once that uh, this intellectual leisure activity and education popularization def uh, terms are one of the demonstrations of the scientific novelty and theoretical importance of this study. And the work of Ms. Danilova has a range of other advantages as well. This intellectual uh, leisure activity is uh, not a new phenomenon. And this, uh, we've had these examples, uh, for example, uh, different lecture courses, uh, lecture venues, and many Soviet students uh, uh, 
were involved in such programs. And from the start of the 20th century, we, uh, 21st century, we've seen the active development of such programs. And this quality, uh, quality and characteristics of uh, such programs is uh, the uh, topic that um, the author studied in detail. And also, uh, the author studied the specificity of uh, intellectual uh, leisure activity and provides a classification and the original map of most popular events of educational leisure activity for adolescents in St. Petersburg will be interesting not just to uh, scientists, but also to practitioners and to target audiences. And uh, the methods used can be applied to develop such maps for other regions as well. And one of the valuable aspects uh, that adds up to the scientific novelty is that the author expands this understanding of potential of uh, this leisure activity, including this intellectual leisure activity. And using a combination of scientific methods, she proves that it can popularize uh, education. And we also highly value the model of popularization of education among adolescents. Uh, uh, the author demonstrates the shift of joy uh, from entertainment to the joy from education. That's particularly important. Uh, the driver of such process is uh, the personal need to search for positive emotions uh, in development. And as for the satisfaction mechanism, uh, it is based on this intersubject interaction of adolescents that take part in this process. And also, we should mention the role of the adults who organize such uh, uh, leisure activities. And I believe uh, here we can talk about the popularization of education and opportunities of intellectual leisure activity, and we can promote it. And the practical importance should be also mentioned because there are recommendations, uh, recommendations developed by the uh, candidate for the degree that are quite useful if we talk about the development of uh, effective programs in different educational organizations that are interested in the popularization of education among this uh, age group. And the programs of um, uh, Nanograd, for example, they can, uh, uh, then can, we can scale them up and they can be used in extracurricular activities and in vocational training programs. So overall, that's quite a holistic work and as for the text of the study, uh, give me several uh, questions to ask. Uh, they are all um, uh, rather recommendations than questions, and they, I believe, can outline the promising fields of further studies for our candidate for the degree. So the first point. The thing is that um, in your study, you analyze um, face-to-face -face and hybrid formats of uh, such programs. And their popularization capacity uh, is proven, but our recent events demonstrate that we can't be based on face-to-face -face programs. And uh, there comes the question, can online programs have the same potential? So is it possible to popularize education via different educational projects that are represented in the World Wide Web today? And second question, Um, given the recommendations uh, to be based uh, when you develop uh, these programs, you mentioned that uh, the potential participants should have such uh, unity of interests. Uh, and there's the question, is this a mandatory condition? Will a program that does not provide for such a uh, selection of possible participants, uh, will this program be as successful if we talk about popularization of uh, education? And if we talk about programs without any special selection, maybe this will uh, even develop this popularization potential even better. And I would like to mention at once that the questions that I asked do not compromise the uh, uh, 
high assessment of or the high mark of this uh, thesis. And in conclusion, I would like to say that the thesis by Anastasia Danilova titled Popularization of Education in Teenager Activities complies with uh, the requirements uh, of the order as of September the 1st, 2016, number 6821-1 on procedure of granting academic degrees at St. Petersburg State University. And uh, Ms. Danilova deserves the academic degree of the candidate of pedagogical sciences in specialization 13001, theory of education, uh, history of teaching and education, and Article 11 of the above mentioned order is not violated. So re the review was submitted by Evgeny Ashansky, Doctor of Pedagogical Sciences, Professor, Vice Director for uh, Research Work of Vitebsk. Um, a sheriff of uh, State University. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Evgeny. We've heard your review quite well, and we saw you as well. So thank you very much, Anastasia. Two questions to critical and recommendation positions. Please, you have the floor. Thank you very much, um, Evgeny Yakovlevich. As for the opportunity of online programs to popularize education. So it won't be an exaggeration to, sh to say that we've started our work in a world that was different from the current situation caused by the pandemic. And in our study, we made an emphasis on the study of face-to-face -face and hybrid programs. And in the text of the dissertation, we emphasize that uh, this online format is considered one of the promising fields. On one of the stages, um, we asked uh, the school children uh, if they are familiar with the online pro uh, projects. Uh, the respondents that participated in the interviews, they mentioned that sometimes they use online projects, uh, educational blogs and uh, telegram channels. But uh, they were saying that these are the formats that allowed to develop the existing interest to some other field. But as the speed of change and fading away of new trends in the internet is quite high, we believe that uh, this uh, spread of uh, uh, can differ today, and we can uh, be based on our empirical experience. For example, uh, up until the end of 2020, we participated in the Nanograd programs online. And to, uh, thinking about the feedback of our participants, we can presume that the work in the online format uh, had a popularization effect as well, but I would like to emphasize that these are the ideas based on our empirical experience. And as for the question on the need to choose the participants for such programs, as far as we believe this um, uh, selection system is an important element in the design of the program, but we should take into account not just the uh, skills and knowledge that the participants already have, but rather the level of their motivation and um, the desire to take part in the program. And this selection system can be qu quite conditional. And uh, for example, we can have detailed announcement of the program. And this approach allows us to um, see uh, the rise in motivation among the participants. And this creates this unity of interest that's important for the implementation of communication function. And this approach also devo uh, develops an understanding about the activity. Um, uh, and this selection system is one of the most to provide for the voluntary participation in this activity. And this free choice, I believe, is one of the key integral components if we talk about popularization of education. Yet we understand the nature of this issue, and it would be interesting to implement some of these programs without selection. Thank you very much, Anastasia. Uh, Eugenia, are you satisfied with the answer? Yes, yes, I'm quite satisfied. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. OK, we continue and get acquainted with uh, the opinions of our members of the board. And now I give the floor to uh, Professor um, to Professor Maskovkin. Thank you so much. Dear colleagues, the problem of popularization of education 
is an eternal one. It did not emerge today. And in particular, in the 18th century, where the professors of St. Petersburg State University, Germans, signed uh, this agreement to give uh, open lectures and write books. Uh, so uh, this uh, promotion of scientific knowledge was popularization of education at that period of time. Uh, uh, my large center is that uh, we formed it. We had a pedagogical museum, uh, and in the 20th century, we had um, these public sciences. And uh, I would like to mention that this popularization problem uh, gains importance in uh, current times when they established the Russian educational system is in the state of crisis. And simultaneously, it is the arena of ideological struggle. So that, as I believe, these conditions that we have today, they explain this high level of relevance of the study uh, performed by Anastasia. Anastasia substantiates the problem of educational popularization during the leisure activities among adolescents. And she is striving to prove that this activity organized as um, recreation and uh, intellectual development uh, can make education more appealing for students, and that it can increase the number of educational events in the life of students, that uh, this can motivate the students to participate in such events, and uh, also uh, develop independence among students. And there are many other interesting conclusions. So how does the author resolve this uh, problem? Well, at once we should mention that uh, one author systematizes a lot of uh, literature sources. First of all, dedicated to the issues of leisure activity of adolescents, and on the other hand, uh, dedicated to the issues of education popularization. And one of the results of this activity uh, is the specification of definitions of these important notions, not, and not just specification, but the development of uh, her own definitions. And when she developed these definitions, Anastasia uh, quite successfully uses the elements of linguistic analysis. And uh, it's not a thing that you can easily find in such um, uh, dissertation works and these elements of linguistic analysis improve, even increase the uh, validity of this study. Uh, then she studies the trends in the development of other sphere, and I believe that the empirical study is of particular interest. And that is the study of the influence of intellectual leisure activity on the attitudes of um, young people to education. Once again, these uh, leisure programs, uh, module leisure programs, seemed very interesting to me. The ones that promote uh, education, as well as recommendations that the author developed for the developers of such uh, programs in the future. And if we talk about the scientific novelty, I'm not sure whether I should go into details. Uh, well, no need for that as your review was already published. Yes, dear colleagues, I believe this can uh, be read in the reviews that are published on the website. I just like, uh, I would just like to confirm that this thesis has scientific novelty. And above all, it uh, is uh, quite valid and credible. And there's no doubt uh, in the theoretical and practical importance. Uh, as for theoretical importance, I would like to mention that uh, the provisions of the thesis on the essence and the content of the process of uh, education popularization are important, as well as on the specificity of the functioning of such uh, intellectual leisure time programs. 
uh, as well as uh, there's recommendations on the trends in this activity and on the principles of design and use of such programs for the popularization of education. The author has developed and empirically proved uh, the provision on the influence of uh, such leisure activity on the attitude to education. As well as practical activity and practical importance of this work, it allows us to conclude that this thesis is a serious qualification work that provides us the answers to the problems uh, that are important both for pedagogy overall and for the leisure time pedagogy in particular. And I believe I should mention that the results of the thesis were published in three peer-reviewed journals recommended by uh, the Ministry of Science. And uh, now I would like to shift to my remarks. Uh, there are there are just few of them, and they are not that important, as I believe. But still, I want to mention something. Well, first of all, uh, to my mind, you did not formulate, uh, identify the object of study, um, because you write that the object of the study is the leisure activity of um, urban uh, school children. I believe that is an object of psychological, sociological study because I believe that the object of this study is the organization of uh, intellectual leisure activity for adolescents. And uh, the goal of the study is um, formulated in a na not to its full extent to define and to describe the peculiarities of um, intellectual leisure activity due to which this activity can have a positive impact on the attitude of adolescents. Yes, certainly it is described in the work and you fulfill this uh, goal, but there's a complex of other um, goals as well and therefore I believe that you should have had a wider um, goal. Then, uh, this model of educational popularization is developed in technological and uh, procedural uh, way. But as for the content, I didn't see enough examples. And it seems to me that this aspect is quite um, a schematic. And, uh, um, Formulating experiment is not detailed, uh, is not described in detail as well. So I believe you should have had a wider substantiation of the parameters and the scales that you use. And I believe it would be expedient to substantiate uh, this polling technique as a method for diagnostics compared with other methods. Yet it should be mentioned that if we consider this work overall, we understand that these remarks, they are not that important and they don't influence uh, uh, the overall impression. Therefore, I make the general conclusion that the thesis of Anastasia Danilova titled Popularization of Education in Teenagers, Leisure Activities, meet the requirements of uh, the orders of uh, September the 1st, 2016. Number 6821 slash 1 on the procedure of granting academic degrees at St. Petersburg State University. And uh, Ms. Danilova deserves the academic degree of the candidate of uh, pedagogical sciences in uh, specialization 13001, theory of education and history of teaching and education. And Article 11 of the above mentioned order is not violated. So thank you very much. That's it. Thank you very much, Leonid, for taking part in our uh, board session. It's quite a detailed review, and we'll be pleased to listen to um, the answers. So please, Leonid, uh, Victorich, thank you very much for attention to my work and for the remarks that you've uh, uh, given me, because they're quite important for me. And let me answer some of the provisions. 
uh, formulating the object of the study, we were based on the fact that the object um, may include the reality of interdisciplinary character connected with pedagogy, psychology, sociology, because there are such things as sociology of leisure activity, pedagogy of leisure activity. And we were striving to study the um, leisure activity not from the point of view of organization, but also consider it as a sociocultural event. A phenomenon. Therefore, we defined it as uh, the leisure time activity of uh, urban uh, school children. Therefore, we used uh, this uh, notion. And as for the goal of the study, yes, I agree with uh, this remark. And regardless of the fact that uh, it seems to me that that's quite a positive characteristic of my work, still I understand that from the point of view of methodology, the goal could be um, seen as a narrow one. And uh, this uh, definition of the goal was um, dictated by the hypothesis of the study because we presumed that this intellectual um, leisure activity uh, will be able to popularize education. So the goal for us was to describe these peculiarities uh, thanks to which such leisure activity will have a positive impact on the attitude uh, to education. And also uh, the remark on the number of examples uh, to illustrate as the material uh, was rather um, had a lot of, uh, as we had a lot of materials uh, that previous uh, uh, um, provision, uh, we placed all these materials into uh, the appendixes, and therefore we decided to consider the nanograd programs in appendix four, and also we um, described these uh, venues that illustrate, uh, that give us the specific examples. And I mentioned um, 20 others, but still certainly we should uh, have had a more detailed description. And I believe that this something will be expanded. And as for the formulating experiment uh, remark, as for the skills and parameters, this formulating experiment was connected with a study of attitude to education. And first of all, it is studied by a reflection. And we presumed that um, we can use these markers that will uh, demonstrate the popularity of education. And these markers include the change of education, uh, for example, the increase in uh, the attractiveness of education, the forming or uh, the development of positive attitude, and a range of other parameters. The uh, questionnaires were aimed to track these changes and uh, demonstrate the dynamics in the attitude of respondents to education. And in our study, we substantiate the structure of each of these um, questionnaires and establish the link between them and the data. And as for the choice of polling as a method of diagnostics, uh, well, uh, this uh, poll was offered to uh, the participants of the summer school uh, during this peak uh, periods uh, of the defense of cases, of the festival of workshops, and the closure of uh, the city. Certainly, the attitude was most positive at that period of time, but certainly we understood that there, this will be quite hard uh, due to emotional and intelligent uh, intelligence workload. And therefore, we decided not to use other methods that would require uh, simultaneous participation and long-term participation. And as other measurement, uh, uh, the other measurement took place nine months later, we uh, needed to choose the method that would allow us to give feedback in these conditions. Uh, we thank you very much for this uh, remark. And uh, later on, I will choose uh, the methods uh, more specifically. Thank you very much. And this year, Leonid, are you satisfied with the answer? Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, the members of the board now, uh, we've heard the first three reviews and uh, the next three are coming forward. Uh, now I give the floor to Alexei Kamensky, so please. A distinguished uh, colleague, distinguished candidate for the degree. I won't read out uh, the review that was already published, but I'd rather draw your attention to those key advantages of the work that I'd like to mention. At once, I would like to say that my review is um, a very positive one. And 
Uh, there are uh, the following advantages that I would like to note. The relevance of the study, first of all, and I believe that the contemporary educational system has long waited for this, has long expected this work. Certainly the author had these ideas uh, before the pandemic, and I believe that this pandemic emphasized the relevance of uh, this work because it's obvious that uh, considering quarantine and uh, uh, pandemic, uh, the internal resources drop and there's a need for the compensation. And I believe the problem of this uh, going beyond the borders of internal educational system is a way out of this problem. The uniqueness of this uh, topic, uh, both practically and theoretically, Well, certainly, uh, uh, um, we should say that we didn't see such studies before. I haven't even uh, uh, heard about such studies. And from the start of the 20th century, education popularization is a topic that no one developed, uh, both in scientific knowledge and in uh, the practical sphere as well. So yes, they did, but not. Uh, by the state system, but rather by some extracurricular uh, programs. And I would uh, not agree with this remark about the leisure activity of all the members of the board, because I believe you should work on the identification of this uh, ideas, because we're not talking about organization of uh, leisure activity, but about the uh, development of an ability to organize this leisure activity among children. And Anastasia gives a wonderful idea there, a very promising idea not just to organize uh, your own leisure activity, but also the leisure activity of others. So I believe that's a complete novelty, and you should uh, develop it later on. And as for the promising character, I see just a huge field here. The transparency uh, trend that is now developed in our education It requires the cost of approaching the organization of educational system because the uh, school can't just stick to itself. Uh, certainly we should develop the programs at a more systemic level and I fully agree with with uh, the idea of uh, with Tatiana's idea who mentioned the wonderful result because that's actually an educational potential map for the city developed and such maps can be developed across Russia uh, certainly if there are any minor problems there these are just you know an ideas to discuss and at some point and I see it um, talks that she is talking about urban adolescents. But you see this drawing this division between adolescents who is urban and who is rural, it's impossible. And considering the um, this transparency of the current world, this openness, starting with uh, transportation, you know, I just boasted uh, to Tatiana saying that uh, uh, Kind Lyra project joined in 619 uh, citizens, the, uh, uh, the most remote uh, Eurasian point. So they joined our project. And you see, they are working together with us as our St. Petersburg children. Certainly, that's wonderful to have this potential in today. And I believe that this work certainly brings us to the integration of formal and informal education. And this potential that we see today it should be used. And overall, we can see that the civilization is now in the epoch that we've never seen before in the development of mankind, as in this uh, film. 
our opportunities exceed our wishes. And that is why my colleagues emphasize the interdisciplinary character of this study, both psychology and uh, economics, indeed economics, because you've given the prices in your work as well. So pedagogy, sociology, and uh, many other uh, disciplines. Therefore, it seems to me that uh, you are talking about the development of motivation to self-education, and that's a key point today because we have a lot of remote systems in place, but they will work only in case a person wants to develop and to study. And Anastasia offers just one of the ways out of this problem. And I, you see, I have one question. It's not dedicated to thesis, because uh, I believe you finished your thesis several months ago. But talking about the pandemic, did you manage to talk to those uh, organizations that you've mentioned in your work? How did they survive? How did these structures survive? Uh, are many of them uh, still working in the market? Yes, and uh, the final, uh, the final point that I need to read out. This formal point. The thesis of Anastasia Danilova titled Popularization of Education in Teenage uh, Leisure Activities comply with the requirements of the order as of September the 1st, 2016, 68, number 68, 21 1 on the procedure of granting academic degrees at St. Petersburg State University. And um, Ms. Danilova deserves the academic degree of the candidate of sciences in pedagogies in specialization 13001 and article 11 of the above mentioned order is not violated that's it thank you thank you very much for this interesting work thank you very much um anastasia i heard two points yes uh, i heard a lot of points to think about yes and two points that require answer at once thank you very much alexei for uh your review and for the discussion uh, for this scientific discussion, first of all, I would like to answer this urban uh, adolescence um, uh, idea. Sociologists emphasize that there are differences not just in the level at the institutional level from the point of view of infrastructure of the cities and settlements where they live, but also at the level of uh, 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 the requests and desires of adolescents and urban adolescents have uh, more uh, wishes as uh, they say but certainly uh, we should emphasize that this construct uh, of adolescence is so delicate um, certainly but this definition you know it was important to emphasize it because we study megalopolis that is polycultural more dynamic Therefore, I believe I should have mentioned that I'm talking about urban adolescence. And as for survival, well, the answer is not quite optimistic, you see, because indeed I observed what happens because I believe that I'm an active participant of such intellectual leisure time programs. And in some cases, these venues are closed during the first three or four months uh, in uh, spring, but then I mentioned a wonderful trend that many of the formats they started to uh, develop other modes of existence and they proved to be even more important. And uh, Laria House opened up an online tour program that were not just video tours across the city, but that's a very beautiful interactive stories that you need uh, you want to join and also other it more projects uh, they are shifting online as well and that's not a consumer online but rather an involvement online project and nanograd and we thought it will not survive if it won't work face to face uh, Nanograd also mastered this shift to new programs. They had hybrid programs. They shifted online, and this opened up new opportunities. Yes, 
I beg your pardon because I've taken too much time. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'd like to use this chance and to shortly mention that I wish everyone good health and this very fact that we are organizing our panel session offline and seeing each other, it gives me uh, a optimism, you know. And now I would like to give the floor to our next speaker, Irina Frischmann. Thank you. So please, you have the floor. Hello, um, dear colleagues, I would like to read out my review what, when I, that I prepared reading this work on the popularization of uh, leisure activities among adolescents. So the laconic title allows me not to read out uh, the review that I've submitted beforehand. And I would like to concentrate on uh, the important topic. So we are now see, uh, seeing a young researcher. And that is also a demonstration of one of the results of education popularization. And for me, that's of particular importance because I'm um, very enthusiastic about science. It's not just summarized knowledge, but rather a resource to unite generations. and maintaining this classical, uh, the preservation of this classical Russian school is one of the uh, fundamental goals of Russian education. Certainly we can talk a lot about the difficulties that we faced, but today we've already heard this idea that sometimes these difficulties provide wonderful opportunities for further development. And uh, Leonid, let me concentrate on this aspect on the difference of this study from other studies because I was uh, happy to take part uh, in uh, Kostromind, Yaroslavian International Board uh, sessions. Uh, and I don't want to offend anyone, but, uh, you know, these studies were partially scientific, but mostly the empirical approaches and uh, empirical summarizations, but as for scientific core, they not always represent this core. And as for this work that we've um, that we are discussing today, it has uh, a lot of characteristics of the scientific work. That is the scientific goal of study that is connected with the substantiation of the opportunity of this intellectual acti uh, leisure activity sector to popularize education and to change attitude to education. So that is uh, quite relevant and timely. And this situation in which we find ourselves today, and I believe that's not a situation, but rather a trend of hybrid education. Uh, you know, four months ago, we had a different understanding of online projects. On the one hand, you have a broadcast, and on the other hand, you just stated you just have to say that I'm sitting there and uh, thinking about um, this information. Within these four months, we have some breakthrough developments in different regions, in different scientific schools, in different countries that demonstrate that uh, education is becoming more and more popular because this popularization has several tiers and does, it does not exist without feedback. And Anastasia managed to demonstrate that education popularization does not mean that we have a lot of programs. Uh, it does not mean that we have just uh, uh, keynote speakers what our adolescents love. Education popularization implies dialogue, interdisciplinary, intercultural, and intergeneration dialogue. And I would like to emphasize that scientific studies, uh, the scientific study has this structural unity and systemic approach. And we've already mentioned that, but unfortunately for many scientific works, uh, PhD works, it's not always the case. And also for master works, uh, that's true as well. And now for many, um, 
uh, dissertation bores. That's a problem because if we won't teach our students to write scientific works, I believe that the general level of the scientific schools will drop because the information volume will prevail over the scientific volume. And Anastasia managed to uh, uh, maintain this balance not to be excessive both in theory and in practice. And the thesis fully gives us the results of the analysis and synthesis of the scientific literature on the study of the program and the major results of the experiment that was carried out. Why do I draw your attention to that? On the one hand, uh, during the first reading, I would like, I wanted to say that, well, you see, 30 years passed and uh, uh, Gars, uh, the names of Gazman and Schmack are forgotten, and uh, the, uh, the author says that there were no studies, no such studies, and there were no people dealing with popularization of education, and I am starting this new life. But uh, taking a more serious look at the work, I understand the logic of our author. It was more important for Anastasia, uh, for Anastasia to give us the con contemporary state of affairs, and the historical study was out of context in this field, as far as I understood it. Because, indeed, uh, the studying of this uh, leisure time activity, this attitude to leisure time activity was established in the 20th century. But we understand that public attitudes, public relations are so different today that there's, it's useless to compare that from the point of view of uh, contemporary science. There's just, uh, we can just juxtapose uh, uh, here. Therefore, I believe that the concepts are formulated quite well. There were remarks voiced today. And I believe that it allows us to demonstrate that it's not just a formal act when we uh, that when we, where we read our phrases that we need to read out because there is a special procedure. Uh, we show that that's a dialogue, that that's a continuation, and um, of our notions. And when we're talking about the concept about the model, uh, we understand what we're talking about and we take responsibility for that. So the thesis gives us the results of the analysis and synthesis of literature and also the major results of the conducted experiment. So I would like to compliment the uh, thesis supervisor for that because the analysis frequently uh, is something that we frequently see and we see no synthesis in the majority of works especially in humanitarian spheres. And I believe we should also mention uh, the high uh, value of the model of popularization of education uh, for adolescents. And uh, there's this key point, subject approach. The student is not a consumer. He's not a hipster as far as we understand that I'm everywhere and I'm uh, I don't understand anything. I'm not a blogger, but rather a participant. And that's an organization for someone. That's a social character. And the developed experimental work uh, given in chapter three allows us to estimate the importance of this uh, systemic work carried out by the author that gives us the credibility of the results, not in the theoretical, but also in the practical uh, point of view. And it's important that this study gives us the results of testing uh, of the introduction of two author's programs. And not everyone can uh, mention this author's contribution. And that's not a matter of modesty. It means that the author has already checked it uh, in his or her uh, practical um, work. And we should also mention the importance of conclusions made. And thanks to that, uh, we see that this study is quite logical and finished. And to my mind, and I've seen it in the results of the study, the author fully 
mastered the methodology of pedagogical study and she analyzes the empiric material and formulates the conclusions and i won't take much time because we've already mentioned a lot today and i'll give just two remarks uh, that were important for me and i i'm really grateful that i had a very wonderful uh, thesis supervisor that taught me that not all hypotheses could be proven and that's not necessarily bad therefore i have the following question and i would like to um, solicit your opinion on that it's not clear in the text of the thesis if there are conditions uh, during which we don't see the implementation of the popularization function in such programs. So do these programs always popularize education? Maybe there are other questions. Uh, maybe there are other um, options here. And second question is as follows. I'll just read it out. Uh, these um, classifications of the programs of intellectual leisure activities are these uh, general pedagogical phenomena, or are they just the experimental activity results? So, are these uh, the general conclusions or St. Petersburg experience that we've analyzed? Uh, we have it, and uh, we like it, and. Um, other, other cities may have different conclusions. So I beg your pardon for this remark. So that's it. And the conclusion is that the thesis by Anastasia Danielova titled Popularization of Education in Teenagers Leisure Activities complies with the requirements uh, of the order as of September the 1st, uh, 2016 on the procedure of granting academic degrees at St. Petersburg State University. And uh, Ms. Danilova deserves the academic degree of the candidate of pedagogical sciences and specialization 13001, theory of education, history of teaching and education. And Article 11 of the above mentioned order is not violated. And I would like to thank you for this opportunity to take part in the work of the uh, board. And I was happy to see the colleagues, and I believe that we will continue our scientific studies that will be of interest to young people as well. Thank you very much, Irina. And once again, I think that a competent dissertation board has the main goal not just to be an, uh, to provide expert review. Uh, for the thesis, but also to generate this uh, scientific discussion and to give the ideas that were not planned. Um, and it's really wonderful that we have this opportunity to uh, talk to a wider audience in this regard. So thank you very much for that. Uh, so, Anastasia, please. Thank you very much for such a detailed feedback. And as for the questions, I'll try to give an answer for them. So you asked what are the conditions, if there are any conditions in which we don't see this popularization of education. If I say that uh, there are no such conditions, uh, certainly we could stop here right, right here and right now because this would contradict science. Uh, we know that we always have the conditions uh, that won't generate uh, this popularization. And we always understand that there is this opportunity of zero effect because uh, there can be a range of factors uh, that will have a negative impact. But when we talk about the design of such pro uh, programs, we can b believe that these programs won't be efficient if this principle of intersubject interaction is not um, is not supported if our adolescent is not a full-fledged participant, a voluntary participant in the process. And also the conditions of organization, of teaching staff, uh, choice, uh, these collective uh, rela uh, relations. 
Um, so these all are very important aspects. And we've tested the programs that were developed based on these principles every time we've uh, seen this popularization function to some extent. For example, this popularization effect in Nanograd in, and in um, eight-day program were more pronounced than in one-day program that was less intensive. Therefore, we can say that uh, the less intensive are the program, the less we, um, pronounced uh, the effect is. Certainly, we should have a wider study, and I believe that a regression analysis will be a more promising method here that will allow us to exclude the variables. And thank you very much for this wonderful remark. Thank you. And as for the second one, yes. As for the provisions um, uh, that the classification is based upon, this typology of the programs, on the one hand, it's based on the general pedagogical phenomenons. We assess the level of content of the educational component uh, and the key goals of uh, the program. But on the other hand, we also consider the functional um, importance according to Stabis classification. For example, we've seen uh, such programs as aimed at the transfer of knowledge, for example, some holiday schools, lecture courses, and so on and on. And the main functions here were uh, the creative function and uh, the educational function. And as the judgment was based on the content analysis uh, matrix that was developed um, by the author, this classification can be considered as an experimental St. Petersburg work. Certainly, we understand that this classification can be expanded and fine-tuned if we develop the basics. But as I had no goal to create uh, a universal classification, as I try to see the general trend, I believe that this uh, development will uh, be a thing of the future. Thank you very much. I believe, Irina, you are satisfied. Yes, yes, I am. Thank you so much, dear colleagues. I've also prepared a review on the thesis. Uh, that's a finalizing review. Therefore, I'm grateful to my colleagues because I have uh, this chance not to read out because many of my ideas um, correspond that with the ones that you've already mentioned. Well, but I'd like to uh, dwell upon some of the positions. Mostly, I would like to emphasize the relevance of the study. As far as I know, it is demonstrated into three interdependent aspects. Certainly, the key pedagogical aspect is found in the fact that Anastasia wants to detect the motives of uh, contemporary school children when they talk about uh, educational leisure time. Uh, then, a uh, socio-cultural uh, aspect of relevance. I believe it is substantiated quite well by the um, uh, this um, uh, development of new phenomena of uh, extracurricular education. And yet another aspect that is quite important we consider the entire institution that is not yet fully established, but still it demonstrates this institutionalization uh, aspect. That's uh, so because here we see this process of support of innovative uh, educational practices that um, are offered to contemporary school children that are potentially or fully involved in this uh, popularization process. Therefore, I emphasize the relevance of this study um, if we consider the interdisciplinary character. And I would like also to emphasize the important theoretical uh, result of the study. To my mind, that's a classification of the programs of intellectual leisure activity according to 11 principles the presence of which may have an impact on the attitude of contemporary school children to education. I believe that's not just a practical result, but also a theoretical one, because every one, every of these um, characteristics is substantiated quite well. And I believe we should complement our author 
for uh, the language of our author. So that's not uh, a publication re regime. That's an academic. Uh, that's not a publication language. That's an academic, uh, lively language. I'll give you just one example where the author makes this delicate step to, towards hermeneutics, because this chapter on the specificity of contemporary adolescence, so so cultural, pedagogical, psychological specificity. So it starts with the interpretation of the quotation of uh, Fyodor Dostoevsky. And I know I'd like to shift to a most interesting part connected with uh, the remarks and questions. So I have three uh, of them. Uh, so uh, the first one, we see two definitions of the results of education popularization. Now I give the pages in my review where you use it. We use them. And in the first case, we are talking about the qualities of education. And in the second case, we are talking about, and that's a quotation, about the increase of the number of people that enjoy the educational process and that have interest to the scientific and research activity connected with education. Uh, uh, with education. I believe these two positions should be coordinated. Second idea. In the introduction, uh, you give uh, the major hypothesis about the opportunity of a positive impact of education, uh, of intellectual leisure activity um, on uh, the attitude to education. And then you specify on page 68 that uh, the participants aimed at enjoying uh, the cognition process may have this shift of initial motive uh, to the final goal. So this uh, word combination um, that there is higher probability uh, that there's a high probability. I believe that's not a correct um, wording here because you don't use this analysis of um, probabilities. And third idea, one of the um, provisions that you give on the positive impact of participation. Uh, of adolescents to uh, the increase in loyalty. So the question is, uh, can we have it this way, that the positive experience will uh, lead to a rise in risk uh, that the students won't like uh, the educational process as it is organized in the, at their schools? Yes, yes, I beg your pardon. Uh, uh, for not reading the uh, mandatory part. Yes, I believe that this is by Anastasia Danilova title, Popularization of Education in um, uh, Teenagers' Leisure Activities, complies with the requirements uh, of the order on the procedure of granting academic degrees at St. Petersburg State University. And um, Ms. Danilova deserves the academic degree of the candidate of Pedagogical Sciences and Specialization 13001 and Article 11 of the above mentioned order is not violated. So, um, thank you very much, Len Sergeyevich. Thank you very much for mentioning this uh, hermeneutics attempt. And thank you very much for the questions as well. So, here are my answers. Um, as um, we use the methodology that uh, the researchers used to describe popularization of science to define this term of popularization of education, it was important for us to demonstrate our mode of thinking. And this difference in definitions is explained by the fact that on, pa on the first page, we give the first understanding of this definition. And as for uh, the provision taken for the defense, 
uh, we use the, here we use the final version of this uh, definition that was specified uh, during the work process and it is described in uh, the thesis but as i did not emphasize that in the text maybe i could have had i could have misled uh, the, the reader uh, next comment i agree with the fact that uh, this um, with high probability of wording can be considered as incorrect, but I would like to emphasize that the functional aim was not just to um, uh, give a hint at the methodology, but rather to emphasize that uh, that is uh, pure judgment and probability judgment. But certainly, I should be more um, attentive to all the wording in my text. And uh, this wonderful question on the opportunity of uh, intellectual leisure activity to have a negative impact on school loyalty. I believe that's a very important question for the integration to school education. As school loyalty was not a key topic of the study, we did not analyze it in detail uh, when the positive experience will lead to the drop in loyalty to school. But I would like to answer this question from the point of view of a teacher that is uh, sure that education should be based on respect to all the participants and that it should be not just the preparation to life but life itself i believe that positive experience of intellectual leisure activity may lead to a drop in uh, loyalty to school if the school is unable to give the self-definition and positive interaction options one school provides no choice uh, and no space to implement communication and creative functions and so on. In other words, if an adolescent who enjoyed uh, educational process during leisure uh, wants to uh, develop um, his or her interest in school, but uh, that's not welcomed by the school, um, it's more likely that in the future uh, the student will strive to achieve education uh, at the expense of other institutes, if we talk about optimistic sin scenario. And uh, we've seen one of such cases during an uh, in-depth interviews when there was a shift in loyalty to school and there were several of such cases that we observed talking to nanograd participants when the positive experience demonstrated that school experience is uh, less interesting for them. Thank you very much for this question. Thank you very much. I believe that the third question is quite an acute one. That's not a compliment to myself, but uh, that's an idea to continue the study. I'm satisfied with your answers, and now I shift to the next um, article in our agenda. Distinguished colleagues, distinguished members of the board, I believe everyone is satisfied with their answers to the questions. And now I would like to ask uh, other participants that are not members of the board if anyone is willing to give their opinion on uh, the study. If there are any questions, please introduce yourself and you can have the floor. Okay. Any questions? Okay, Yekaterina tells me that there are no external questions submitted, but I believe that the discussion will still continue, and that is really wonderful to have this open uh, defenses. And we continue, and I would like to give the floor to Yelena Kazakova, the thesis supervisor of our candidate for the degree and i ask Yelena to continue this tradition and to tell us about the candidate for the degree and about the joint work process distinguished colleagues certainly uh, we uh, i would like to comment on uh, the uh, my student she um, has certain characteristics that allowed us to work together during a lengthy period of time. And I would give them this way. First of all, uh, she is very bold. She has the sense of dignity. She respects uh, the talents of others. And she's sincerely 
uh, sure that education is wonderful. And this scientific boldness allowed her to study the things that are not that people are not used to study because popularizing something uh, like education is not uh, proper. And we had such cases in the history of pedagogy and the examples that we've heard about today uh, about educational communities and some other aspects. Those were the attempts to go from the inside uh, to develop education from the inside. But now that's a view of the 21st century with an attempt to recognize that the field that we would like to see uh, as a happy activity. Uh, so uh, I believe that uh, this is uh, the idea that she wants to transfer. And certainly we uh, uh, and certainly my candidate for the degree always supported her own uh, point of view and she uh, really had um, and she um, this leads us to the fact that she is always fascinated by other talents, by the talents of children, by the talents of uh, entrepreneur, by the uh, um, and the talents of a teacher. So that was the basis of our cooperation, and I'm quite satisfied with it. And I really hope that Anastasia uh, gave us um, the idea that she will continue work. Her work, and I really hope that her work as a, uh, an instructor at St. Petersburg State University will uh, continue because I'm sure that we need such <coughs> instructor, instructors and lecturers uh, if we want to develop pedagogy. Thank you very much, Elena, distinguished colleagues. As our session is organized online and we have remote participants i would like to ask the members of the board if uh, uh, there are any questions on the organization of our defense on this format of work or can we move forward okay as far as i understand there are no remarks so distinguished colleagues I should make it another announcement as well. Now, before uh, the open poll, we have an agree uh, have an option to announce a break in order to discuss uh, the results of the defense, and it will not be broadcast. If you believe that we need such a break, please let me know. So, do we know such a break? No, no. Okay, thank you very much. I see the reaction of uh, Yevgeny as well. So, uh, we are ready to vote. Okay, we don't need to discuss the results, and we continue our session, and let's shift to uh, the balloting process. And I would like to remind you that uh, the opinions will be voiced publicly and independently. So I raise a question on the award of uh, the academic degree of the candidate of uh, pedagogical sciences in specialization 13001 uh, to um, our candidate for the degree to Anastasia Danilova. So we are going to have an open balloting and I would like to remind you that the decision of the dissertation board on conferring the academic degree is positive, provided more than 50% of the board members, but no fewer than three people, I voted in favor. That's in conformity with section 23 of the order on the procedure of uh, granting academic degrees at St. Petersburg State University. So, I ask all members of the board to give their point of view. So, Tatiana Galaktionova, what's your opinion? Distinguished colleagues, I presume that Anastasia deserves uh, the um, a degree of the candidate of pedagogical sciences, so I vote for. Thank you very much, Leonid Maskovkin. What's your opinion? I also vote for the award of the academic degree. Okay, thank you, Alexei Kamensky. Uh, 
I'll be happy to um, crown this academic degree to Anastasia. Thank you. Irina Frischman, what's your opinion? I also vote for the award of the academic degree. And Yevgeny Arshansky. I support this work and I vote uh, for the award of the academic degree. And I, uh, chairman of the board, uh, Leonid Delusion, uh, also support this work and I vote for the award of the academic degree. So I believe we don't need to count the votes uh, because we can do that quite easily. Thus, dear colleagues, I would like to announce that the decision on the on the award of the academic degree is made. And out of the six members of the board, uh, six voted in favor. No one voted against and no one abstained from the vote. So the decision on the award of the academic degree of candidate of pedagogical sciences uh, a specialization 13001 theory of education and history of teaching and education to Anastasia Danilova is made. Distinguished colleagues, due to the fact that our session is uh, organized uh, with participants working remotely, I would like to ask if the members of the board or the candidate for the degree or anyone present have any questions on the procedure of the organization of our uh, session. Any questions or comments? None? Okay. Uh, Evgeny, no questions as well? Okay. And we are approaching this final word, given in our agenda. And traditionally, I would like to give the floor for the finalizing remarks to our uh, candidate. I never imagined that this day will finally come. Distinguished members of the board, I would like to express my gratitude to uh, your attention to my study. And Leonid has mentioned hermeneutics today. And as a fan of Gadamer, I'm sure that the text starts to live when the readers emerge. And for us, uh, with my thesis supervisor, we are very happy that our uh, the life of our tax started uh, in your company. And thank you very much for finding time to join in, because I know that it's really hard to organize such sessions at the university. I would like to thank my thesis supervisor, Yelena, first of all, for her ability to uh, develop such um, characteristics in people that people are not aware of uh, initially. And I would like to thank the Institute of Pedagogy to organize this study for the support at numerous stages and for the inspiration, not just to be bold, but also to demand more from my results. And in this, uh, therefore, I'm quite lucky with my teachers. and. If I didn't have a chance to um, work with uh, a school league of Rosnana, with, um, if I didn't have this chance to work with popularizers and with, uh, um, with my respondents, uh, so if uh, they are, were all very important. And I would like to thank my family because my uh, academic studies were more complicated for them uh than for me and in particular i would like to mention that uh that's an honor for me that i get this degree of from st petersburg state university where i spent uh more than 10 years thank you very much for that thank you the colleagues we're going to turn off the broadcast in several minutes but after that i ask you to stay for a minute because we'll have an announcement So, as for me, I have this role that I can't call formal, but still it's written here in the text, congratulate uh, the candidate for the degree. I would like to say the following thing. The defense of the thesis is always an event that you can't 
predict. That's not uh, risks prediction that we're talking about the risks of the study uh, because uh, the opponents are sure of that. But certainly it, it can't be predicted that during the defense you can vo uh, voice some ideas that make up the essence of scientific discussion. And it's clear that uh, we mentioned that several times that the reviews were already published on the site but still this continuation of, of your academic life I believe it will start it will continue with the end of this broadcast and you will be able to uh, see it yourself I would like to congratulate you with the continuation of your way Sometimes they say with the end of this stage, but no, that's a continuum. And indeed, I would like to agree with Yelena. I really hope, I really plan to uh, and really look forward for our future cooperation at St. Petersburg State University in its academic projects and educational projects. So thank you very much, dear colleagues. If anyone wants to add up something, anything, feel free. Okay. I therefore close our session. I would like to thank everyone and kindly turn off the broadcast.